Hi guys, Virtuya here, producer at REACT. At the time of filming this episode, the Armenian people and the Republic of Artsakh have been facing attacks from Azerbaijan. Armenians continue to defend themselves during this ongoing war, but civilians and villages have been targeted. This is a humanitarian issue. If you are considering donating to provide relief aid to those affected, or if you just want more information on how to help spread awareness, we've provided all those relevant links in the description below. Your contributions will provide food, shelter, and medical care, amongst other relief efforts, to help those in need. Thank you for taking the time to listen, and please enjoy this episode. So today, we're going to have you try some dishes traditionally eaten in Armenia. What? Armenian food. What's that? My friend from fifth grade, his name was Aiden. I'm pretty sure he's Armenian. I have a friend that I used to live with who, um, sorry, Armenian. Excited for the food. Let's try it. Here's your first food. Um, I think it's pumpkin stuffing. It seems warm, really warm. It's rice and it's a cooked pumpkin. It actually smells like cinnamon. It looks um very good and I'm excited to try it. I don't know what that smell is, but it's like a pumpkin, and then inside the pumpkin's like rice, corn, a big blob of something. Like some type of sweet something, like a pie or something. I'm not so sure. I've heard it. I'm pretty sure this is the smell of the McDonald's apple pie. I do not like this. Just the taste of it as soon as I tried it. Like the rice was delicious, but there was something in it that I just didn't like. Mm. It's good. The rice is fine, but then the other thing like this tastes horrible. I don't think, is that rice? Mm, it doesn't taste like rice. Just does it. What is that that just went in my mouth? Ooh, that was tangy. I liked it. I need to find another one. I don't remember what it was though. This is really good. <clears throat> now I'm going to the inside. When I got to the inside, um, it was terrible. It smelled so good. And I was so disappointed. So this is called rapama. What? How do you say that? Ra pa ma. Ra ka pa. Uh, ga pa ma. La pa ma. Ra pa ma. La pa ma. So ra pa ma is a pumpkin stuffed with rice, Armenian spices, and dried fruits, generally served during holiday festivities. Traditionally, Armenian foods are meant to be family-style feasting, so typically it is prepared in a larger pumpkin as a way of celebrating the harvest. Oh yeah, that's what I thought. I'm like. I think this is used for a holiday. That is a feast. The rice is fine, not everything else. I would try it again, but I wouldn't eat the whole thing. Like, I would just eat a little bit of it. Maybe the, I'll just take all the dried fruits out and then just eat the dried fruit. Ooh, is that a quesadilla? Oh, 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 that smell. It's filled with green beans. <gasps> Reminds me of those spinach wraps from Starbucks. Mmm, it's pretty good. I actually really loved it. I'm going in for bite number two. That smells good. I think I'm gonna like it. I don't like it. I don't really like it. I like the tortilla, but not the plant. Please tell me there's cheese. I would die if there's cheese in here. Oh, it smells so good. I think that's spinach. I'm pretty sure that's spinach. The flavor is just like amazing. That was delicious. It like tastes like lettuce. And I I like lettuce, but you know, it's missing the ranch and the crouton. So that's called Jengalov Hats. Jengalov Hats? Close. Jengalov Hats. Jengalov hats. Jengalov hats, right? Say hello, hats. 
So these are made up of various herbs and spices called jengal, and then it's stuffed in hats, which is the Armenian word for bread. Then it's gently fried over a special griddle called the sash. Oh. So it's mostly bread greens. Strange, but it tastes really good. I ate spinach and I didn't even know it. I was betrayed. <laughs> betrayed, but it's so good. So I'm gonna have um, some healthy with some vitamin A and stuff. Who knows what this has in here? But I'm gonna be healthy today. This sauce is, but under it kind of smells like a fortune cookie. Looks like some cinnamon roll thing. Ooh, smells like maple syrup. Mmm, this smells actually really good. It smells like cinnamon chocolate. It smells really good, but I've been fooled once. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. What is that? I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna eat it. It's very good. It has like a warm part that like melts in your mouth. It's kind of simple, but I've never had anything like it before, I don't think, so it's really good. It's very appetizing. I'm going to try it. That is really good. I can't. <laughs> It's good. It like tastes like cinnamon, and I like I like cinnamon. I love it. I love it. I like the fact that it kind of tastes sweet. So this one's called gata. 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 <laughs> and my mouth is full, so I can't say it. Gata. Right? Did I say it right? Gata. So gata is sweet bread filled with spice, sugar crumbs, and sometimes walnuts, and then rolled and baked. The version you have right now is sometimes referred to as nazuk, which is a variation of the gata in mini form, versus the traditional round shape, which is about a foot in diameter, usually. Oh, that seems really big. I'm packing this home. This is gonna go in my house. <laughs> it's like really good. Where can you buy this? You can buy this in Armenian markets. Armenian, right? Armenian. Uh, that's gonna be my new favorite word, Armenian. All right, so finally, which one of these three traditional Armenian foods would you recommend others to try? I think this one. I think this one's my best one. This is delicious. This one is like the best thing you could ever try. This needs to be crowned best meal of the day. <laughs> the two fresh ones were not good, but this one, Ooh. This one. <laughs> this one was really good. I loved this one so much. There's a hole in this one, so I can like... What the heck? The bread's even good. Like, what is this? It's like some miracle in my mouth. Thanks for watching this episode of Kids vs. Food. Don't forget to subscribe. We have new shows every week. Bye, guys! Ew! It looks like, um, salad, but horribly melted. <laughs>